There is a number woven into the fabric of the universe, a ratio whispered by nature, guiding the growth of petals, the spirals of galaxies, and the very structure of life. If you have a line and divide it into one longer and one shorter part and call them A and B, then make the following equation. A plus B divided by B equals A divided by B. The result is the golden ratio, also called phi. Some call it the divine proportion. The ratio is about 1.62, but the exact value is impossible to find because it is indivisible. Computers have counted up to trillions of decimals, but not found the exact value. And no repeating patterns of the numbers have been observed. If you draw a rectangle of the proportions of A and B and make a perfect square within it, then you have a new rectangle of the same proportion. Then you draw another square, you get a new square, then another one and so on. In here you can draw a logarithmic spiral. Yes, this is the equation of eternity and it is fundamental to all existence and it never ends. If you take the number 1, add 1, which is 2, and then add 2 with the previous number 1, which is 3, then you add every number you get with the previous one, then you will get a number sequence, the Fibonacci sequence. Like 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on, and so on. It spirals out in an eternity. The petals of plants are always in a Fibonacci number. In that way, they will always have an optimal exposure to the sun. The DNA molecule aligns with the golden ratio, particularly in its helical geometry, allowing for an efficient, stable helical structure with self-replication efficiency. The growth of the shell follows a Fibonacci pattern where each new chamber expands in a way it keeps the same proportion as the previous one. In this way, it's making her shell more resilient to pressure and impacts and secure an efficient growth without shape change. The arms of the galaxy expand outwards, which closely follows the Fibonacci sequence. The shape distributes mass and gravity evenly, which is essential for the formation of new stars. The hurricane forms a golden spiral due to the conservation of angular momentum. It allows the storm to form without collapsing inward too quickly and to maintain pressure distribution. There are many more examples in nature. In aesthetics, Leonardo da Vinci frequently incorporated the golden ratio into his paintings to achieve aesthetic beauty and visual balance. In his anatomy study, The Veruvian Man, he illustrated how the human body conforms to the golden ratio. The distance from the navel to the floor and from the navel to the head is approximately 1.62, the ratio of shoulder width to arm length and length of the hand compared to the forearm also aligns to the Fibonacci sequence. And in the face, the distance from the nose to the chin versus the nose to forehead and many other proportions follow the Fibonacci based spacing. 
The human eye naturally finds Phi pleasing and balanced, and a person with almost 100% the perfect golden ratio would be very attractive. Look at the piano keyboard. It is organized in groups of two black keys and three black keys, which makes five. And then a number of eight white keys, which is 13 altogether, all Fibonacci numbers. And then it spirals out to a new octave. Arpeggios are the sonic spirals of music, expanding mathematically in both directions. And what is the practicality of this? If you look at the anatomy of the hand, it might give a clue. The phalanges of the fingers and also the palm to finger ratio also approximates the golden ratio. Our physiology is designed to interact with instruments.